The Ice Age isn't uncommon for our planet as it is seen many times even before the dawn of civilization. And the new Ice Age should have begun in the next few 100 years, but thanks to the humans' propelled climate change, the planet won't be seeing the Ice Age for the next thousands of years. And what's more disturbing is that the world's largest glacier located in Antarctica, Thwaites Glaciers and Pine Island, are losing their ice cover at a much faster rate than they have at any given point of time in the last ice ages. This shocking truth was found by researchers studying penguin bones and limpet shells in the coldest continent on the planet. What's more alarming is that the two of Antarctica's fastest shrinking glaciers are on course for unstable, runaway retreats. Using penguin bones and shells to reconstruct the glacier's history, the researchers are trying to figure out if these glaciers have ever been smaller than they are today. The research report was published in Nature. If the ice has been smaller in the past and did readvance that shows that we're not necessarily in runaway retreat right now, said glacial geologist Brenda Hall of the University of Maine in Orono. However, the new result doesn't give us any comfort. We can't refute the hypothesis of a runaway retreat, she added, citing at the fast retreating ice cover. According to the report based on the study of the penguin bones and shells, these two supermassive glaciers are positioned in a white ocean basin shaped like a bowl, deepening towards the middle making the ice exposed to the warm currents of the ocean's salt water. Researchers fear that as these Goliath glaciers retreat further inland they could attain an irreversible collapse that could lead to a rise in sea level by almost a meter. The reconstruction of glacier changes of over thousands of years was made possible by the ancient penguin bones and shells gathered by Scott Braddock, a glacial geologist in Hall's lab. Most of the samples of ancient penguin bones were collected on the coast of Lindsay 1, one of many rocky islands dotted roughly 100 kilometers from the Pine Island Glacier. As the last ice age was ending 12,000 years ago, Lindsay 1 would have been submerged below the surface, but as the massive glaciers melted, displacing billions of metric tons of ice, lowering the pressure on Earth's crust, and helping the landmass rise gradually like a bed mattress. The researchers measured the graph of the duration of the rise and the height of these shorelines to determine the amount of glacial ice lost to retreat. They also carbon-dated penguin bones and shells to estimate the ages of the shorelines. The report revealed the oldest and highest shoreline formed 5,500 years ago. Since then up to the last few decades, these islands have risen at a constant rate of about 3.5 mm per year, which is way slower than the 20 to 40 mm per year current rate around these two glaciers. This shows the ice is melting at the fastest rate because of us, after thousands of years of a stable process.